So I'm having a lovely royal breakfast at the Gateway Spa and Hotel near Sirencester in Cotswold. This hotel has been here since 15th century. It has its own herb garden, a big lawn where you can take a walk, which is intact in with the hills. So you can go to the lawn, then go to the hills. Beautiful place. Uh, we're going to go to the Stroud's Market. Yes, here you go. Today morning, I'm supposed to meet Adam Stiles, who kind of runs the Stroud's Farmers Market. I'm at Stroud's, such a beautiful small town. Hey, Adam. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, um, sorry, I'm um, 30 minutes late. It's okay. But <laughs> should we take a walk to yeah, the market? Let's go. Yeah. Come walk to the Welcome to one of the biggest, busiest, and most popular farmers market in the UK. Well, this market has been awarded several awards and as you can already see, it's busy with a lot of people. There's a lot of rush here and a lot of great food. More than 60 stalls, which will make you go crazy if you love food. The artisan bakers really had some exciting breads. They had rye bread, sardo bread, Painswick loaves and lots more. Apart from breads, there were a lot of desserts there as well. Uh, there were stalls who were, who were serving these small desserts. The most popular was lardi. Uh, apart from that, uh, there was a great selection of cheeses, lots of selections of meats. It was also time for me to shop for the veggies because I am actually going to cook today. So I'm going to different uh, veggie and grocery shops, shopping for a bit of fresh veggies and looking at actually the collection that uh, Cotswold Summer has. Uh, the shard is really beautiful the tomatoes. I love these plum tomatoes. They are so juicy and they are not round for a, for a change. Mm. This is delicious. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> after taking a long stroll in the market, after having a lot of food, it's only fair that I end my this tint in Stroud's market by a dessert which is going to be a donut. So this is Pippin Donuts. Hi, hi, Saranj. Saranj. Pleasure. And um, he's been telling me about how a big line is here always for the donuts. Wow. They're so popular. Yes, very popular. So, um, which one is the most favorite uh, of people? Jam, that's, I think this is traditional. But, and also because you get great berries here. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do the mixed berry jam. A mixed berry jam. Yes. Like a napkin. Yes, that'll be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. How much? No problem. No, thank you so much. So well. I have the donuts. Thank you so much, Adam, Pleasure. for uh, taking me around. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a brilliant market. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now I think I'm going to go to the dinner by six, and uh, all the veggies that we bought, we're going to make an interesting dish out of that. I'm going to make um, a my style stew. Uh, well, which because I'm in Stroud's market, I'm going to call it the Stroud stew. For this stew, we need a couple of chorizos. We need 8 to 10 cloves of garlic, one white onion and a Painswick loaf. Apart from that, we need a bit of plums, a bit of chaat, few dill leaves for flavouring and lots of thyme for that excellent flavour. We need 3 plum tomatoes, a bit of red bean, one turnip, one big butternut squash, a couple of red chilies. It's time to do all the pre-prep. Let's get started.
have the recipe. The first step, very quickly, let's take the butter squash. We're going to put this in the oven. Now, we're going to add some salt, some pepper, and some olive oil. Give it a toss, and we're going to put this in the oven. Let's cook us two. First, we need two teaspoons of olive oil or rapeseed oil. To that, we're going to add our chopped garlic. After the garlic has cooked for a while, we add fresh red chilies and then we add thyme for a lot of flavor. Time to add some white onions. When we add the white onions, we give them a nice gentle toss. Now we'll add some turnips and some red beans. So we toss them all together. The most important is sauce or fennel which will add beautiful flavor to this dish around 2 teaspoons then we add coriander powder 1 and a half teaspoons a pinch of chili powder because we have chilies so not more small pinch of turmeric and half a teaspoon of mustard seed Now we're going to add half the number of tomatoes. So we'll add one tomato first and we'll save one for later. Beautiful aroma of fennel is coming. So now it's time to add a bit of water. Let this cook, let the beans cook, let the turnips cook in that water. The water will have great flavor of the spices and of the veggies at the end. So we're going to add two cups of water to this. After we've added the water, by the way, you can also add veg or chicken stock for more flavor. We'll give it 20 minutes on medium flame to cook and I have some fine music to go along with it. I just took out the butternut squash from the oven. It looks beautiful, it's got that crisp texture to it. Now I'm going to add this to our stew. After we add our squash to the stew, we let it simmer for five to seven minutes while our stew is ready. Now it's time to chop some chorizos and some beans with loaf. So well, time to taste the dish. got a kick from the chilies but it is lacking the dill which goes in towards the end fresh plums you don't need to cook them one or two fresh tomatoes Shards on the top. And finally, red. And if you are a non-vegetarian, a bit of chorizo would do you no harm. It looks colorful, right? Trust me. I have left the goodness to the beautiful veggies. I have not cooked them a lot. Just made a nice stew with the butternut squash and that said it, it can support all the other ingredients with it. So guys, Strauss too. Now let's see if my fellow chefs like it. So here you go. Um, do try the squash for sure. And perhaps uh, if you like chorizo or a bread, yeah. We have another gentleman who's helped us out a lot to make food. He's gonna do a tasting. Do taste the squash. Yeah, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 